family has a problem. This is peanut butter and the rest, all three, are cookie butter. Yeah. This one's almost empty though. Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday, it's super early. I'm getting ready to go into the office today, but I wanted to show you guys, see the marks on my face because of my mask? Some days it's worse than others in the morning. And it's not tight, it's just snug. Um, but I guess it's the way I sleep and it presses on there. So hopefully by the time I get to work, it'll be gone. If not, then of course I'll wear my mask, um, my face mask. And then you won't be able to see it until it goes away. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that some mornings I look like this when I wake up. Sometimes it's worse than what it is now. I don't even know if you guys can really see it, like the indention and then how the mask comes around here. Yeah. So we are in the monster dealership. Somebody over there. She doesn't want to be seen, but not this one. I'll show you guys her car. This is her car. Yes, so excited for her. Okay. Yeah, but that's just the way it is. Instead of your remote start, okay, it should be ready to go. Do you want me to walk you through anything in particular? Um. That She's just figuring everything out. I'm so happy for her. I don't know if I told you guys, but it's a Mazda CX-30. Yeah, and it's like really shiny. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah, and Savannah is in there with her because she's riding with her in a car. I rode with her when she test drove it yesterday, so. Y'all, look at her. How you feel, Cheyenne? Good. Aren't you so happy? Yes. God bless you after them Kia boys done Girl. jacked up your car, but you got something way better. Thank you, Jesus. All right, y'all gonna see her drive away. Cheyenne, it looks good on you. The whole car. <laughs> Bye. See you at home. Look at her, y'all. Hi, guys. So we are back home. And Savannah had to go to work. Cheyenne, she is out and about running errands. Y'all, isn't her car so cute? And it fits her so perfectly. Just like Savannah's car fits her. So yeah, I'm so happy for her, I'm so excited. And yeah, I mean, um, we all posted like on Instagram, like the before and after pictures and people kept saying like, I had a few people message me, it happened again? No, not again. I was just showing that, you know, look what happened, but then look what God then did. So yeah, she decided she wanted to get another car because she didn't want to be targeted for having a Kia because she did want a newer Kia, because Kias, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but Kias have been stepping up their game. Their new cars are nice. Yeah, and before, when Kia first came out, when I first seen a Kia, I was like, absolutely not, no way. But anyway, yeah, that's what she has now. Um, Mazda, and she loves it. It is Tuesday. <coughs> oh my goodness. Everything, ooh, everything inside hurts. Um, I was gonna tell you guys about this, but not right now. I was actually gonna tell you guys. I don't know, anyway, today is Tuesday. I'm on my lunch break. Just did the dishes and I sat down for a minute because I got winded because, y'all, okay, today's Thursday. Did I say that? Two nights ago, I came home from work and I was hungry, but not too hungry. So I decided to fix a snack. Sorry. I decided to fix a snack. So 
I made like a fruit salad. You know how they put the tahine on it and the the chamoy and that stuff like that. Okay, so anyway, I bought all the stuff to make that and we had it with like watermelon, cantaloupe, melon, um, what else did I put in it? Cucumber, and I think that's it. I didn't do pineapples because pineapples make Cheyenne's throat itchy. So I had that and I had like the chamoy and tahine and all that on there. I had it the day before on Monday, right? So I fixed a small bowl and I'm like, okay, I'll just have this and I'll make dinner later. So around six o'clock, I started feeling like sick to my stomach nauseated i didn't eat anything but the fruit so what's going on so around seven i really felt like i was going to throw up and so i was sitting here and then i went to my room i got ready for bed because i just felt it coming over me like some kind of sickness and i'm the type i hate throwing up i will do anything possible not to throw up i knew maybe if i just threw it up i'll feel better but i'm like i had this before on monday you know why am i getting sick off of it that day that i had it on tuesday savannah ate a bowl of it also she fixed hers after i fixed mine the night goes on and all of a sudden i started getting like these horrible horrible stomach pains it felt like somebody was twisting my stomach on the inside with knives if that makes any sense it was so sharp and painful and i'm thinking okay if i could just let it pass i'll feel better and tmi i know but it was coming out both ends and that's all i'm gonna say about that just let your imagination you you know what i'm talking about that went on for maybe like four hours and i was in pain and the stomach pain it wasn't a constant pain so it would come and it would go so like around 11 o'clock after i'm throwing up and i'm throwing up nothing there was nothing in my stomach to throw up but i threw up so hard that that just sounds gross i know i was throwing up nothing just my stomach contents and so cheyenne and savannah they were like mom this is not normal do you want to go to the emergency room and i'm like no if i just let it pass i'll be fine so they left the room and they kept checking on me after that last time when they came in the room i started feeling better i'm like okay good you know it's passed and I can go to sleep, still work tomorrow, the next day and be fine. So I put my mask on because you guys know I have sleep apnea. So I have to sleep with that CPAP mask. So I put my mask on and maybe like three hours later, my stomach started hurting again. And I started having the same pains. And I'm thinking, okay, well, maybe I just need to go to the bathroom. Y'all, it became so unbearable. I couldn't walk. I was in the bathroom. I was literally almost in tears. And I have a high tolerance for pain, but this was crazy. Anyway, the pain was so bad, I couldn't walk. I was almost in tears and I got dressed. It took so long to get dressed. Cheyenne, she slept on the couch that night and she said, mom, my phone is on loud and just, you know, yell if you need me. And Savannah was like, yeah, let us know. So I got dressed barely, I was looking crazy. And so then I went out to the hallway. I was clutching my stomach because it hurt so bad. I was bent over and I could barely walk. That's how bad my stomach was hurting. And I said, Cheyenne. And she was like, what, mama, what? She called an ambulance. They got there and they did all the vitals, whatever. Asked me what hospital I wanted to go to. Insurance information, Cheyenne's giving them all the stuff, whatever. So get on the gurney, which I've never rode in the ambulance before y'all and i don't ever want to do it again i mean yeah i'm thankful for them but yeah the, it, the whole thing was just scary because i felt like i was literally fighting for my life because these pains were so unbearable and you're talking to the lady who had three babies and yes i had c-sections but before i still had the labor pains and all that stuff that went along with it so yeah anyway so get to the hospital and i'm so thankful for the doctor they immediately put like an iv in me and they ran blood work and they gave me some medicine through the iv for my pain and they gave me something through the iv i forgot what the name of the med is to stop me from throwing up so within like 20 minutes i felt better i was laying down had my iv in he came back and he came back within an hour I think and said that all my blood work was fine 
and asked a bunch of questions and what I told him and he said it could be something that I ate and I told him my daughter had the same thing. He had no explanation as to why. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. I don't know. My thing is Savannah had the same thing and she was fine. So yeah, um, he did say I was dehydrated. He gave me the IV, especially after I told them that I was throwing up uncontrollably, uncontrollably. And it was like, I know this is TMI y'all, you probably don't wanna hear this, but it was like my insides were trying to come out through my mouth. That's how bad and how forceful my body, it was trying to get something out. Whatever was in me, that was making me feel that way. The body was definitely trying to get it out, but yeah. So I didn't go to work yesterday and the doctor actually gave me off two days, but because I work from home today, I'm still looking at the time, because I work from home today, I was like, okay, I can work today. And I'm fine, I'm better, but everything inside of me, all of my muscles, everything is sore. So that's why every time I cough, or sneeze, I can't even laugh because everything inside me hurts. Yeah, that's what's going on. So yeah, you guys, that was my last two days. Okay, so when I left the hospital, he gave me some pills that I could just put on my tongue to help with the nausea in case I get it again. And I used it yesterday. I used it twice yesterday, but I didn't use it this morning because I'm okay. I kind of want to take it just in case. But he also said to be on the bland, be on a bland diet. And so, which I have been, I've been drinking broth and I had some applesauce and right now I have cottage cheese with no fruit in it or anything like that. Just plain cottage cheese. Yeah, my stomach is getting back to normal, but he told me to do that only for yesterday, all day yesterday, cause it happened on Tuesday night. And so, yeah. But I'm continuing it today because even the thought of eating right now terrifies me. So when I get hungry, I'll grab the, I have broth, like bone broth that's made for drinking. Um, and then I've been eating my cottage cheese. So yeah, fingers crossed I can get better. I have errands to run after work. I still have to pack. Tomorrow is our concert that we have. We're going to the James Wilson concert. Oh, and after all this happened, we were at home yesterday, cause Cheyenne called out yesterday as well. She got like a caregiver note from Kaiser that she could take to her job. Anyway, so I asked her, I said, how many men were in the house? Because when the paramedics got here, I felt like there were so many. And she said there were six of them. And then she said, no, there were five. And she knew what I was gonna ask. And she said, mom, don't worry. None of them were cute. Why was I worried about how, not at that moment, but after the fact, it was like, if they were cute, you know, and they were my age and look at me, looking my worst. Yeah. So we are in the car wash. Cover, cover that. <laughs> Savannah's with me. <laughs> and she's loving it. I love the car wash. She does. But it was free.